We have just touched down on this deserted island. This is, I guess, our shelter. There's no way we're eating this bad boy. Oh my goodness, there's something huge coming towards me. Let's go find some food, baby. I feel so alive! Oh. Woo! Please don't die. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in 24 hours. All righty. See you. See you guys later. Woo -hoo -hoo. See Thanks you later. All right, that's the end of it. I've been dropped off, guys. We're making our way to the shoreline right now. We have just touched down on this deserted island. And right behind me, the boat is leaving me. No! We've just touched down on this deserted island, man, for the next 24 hours. All I have for the next 24 hours is a few resources in my backpack right here to keep me alive out here on this deserted island. Number one, we got a drone right here. That's not really gonna help us, guys. Maybe we can use some aerial view that can show us, I guess, maybe some spots we can go fishing later on. We got GoPro and GoPro battery. Here we go. Finally, some weapons. Big ass Bowie knife right here. This thing, hopefully, is gonna allow us to I guess build shelter and I guess clean fish or whatever. This is just gonna come in handy for sure. We got a mask right here and this comes with a few other items. We got flippers also. Hopefully swim off this island and we can smack some fish on this spear gun right here guys. I wanna get a really good fish or crayfish or something for dinner a little bit later on so that we can cook on this island. We got a wetsuit right here. This is pretty much just gonna keep me warm. Protect me against that reef out there and all the other animals. Finally, our last item. We got a steel and flint right here. Hopefully, a little bit later on, we can start a fire with this bad boy. There's nothing else left in here right now, guys. I wanna start exploring this island and see if there's any natural resources and at least make life a little bit easier. Oh my goodness, man. Take a look at this island right now. It is so incredibly beautiful. Down this one tree right here. This island is so flat. This is, I guess, our shelter. It's about as close as you get to a plane crashing on a deserted island or your boat sinking, and you pretty much just have to pull up here and find a way to survive. Let's go see what this place has to offer right now. I got my backpack. Let's see if we can find some type of resources that's gonna help to keep us alive out here for the next few days. I feel like bloody Dora the Explorer. Backpack, backpack. Oh man. You start to go crazy out in these islands when you're all by yourself, eh? <laughs> actually searching along the high tide watermark. You can actually see where it is, guys, because it's kind of where all the debris washes up. You can see this is kind of like, probably like a smaller high tide, and that's probably your king tide right there. Look at this. If I ever wanted to play football, we got a, a football boot. I don't know how the hell this got out here. What the hell, man? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, we got a coconut. Nah, that thing is so dusty, man. This plant right here is actually sea parsaline. This is actually edible, guys, so... At least it's gonna be our first meal of the day. I'm not gonna lie, it tastes like absolute rubbish. It's kind of like salty. Do you think it would be nice and like succulent and like quench your thirst? It does the exact opposite. It's so salty, so I'm not gonna eat too much of it because we literally have no water out here. It's heaps of old like drink bottles and everything like that. What's this? Little Gucci slide. <laughs> I don't think that one's gonna fit me. But it's something absolutely wild right now on the shoreline that's washed up. That right there is a giant puffer fish. Oh, this thing absolutely stinks, man. Look at him. These things, guys, you cannot eat them. They have enough toxin in them to kill 30 adult humans. So there's no way we're eating this bad boy. All right, buddy. Rest in paradise. We got a whole bunch of old line right there. All right, we can definitely use this maybe to bind our structure or maybe to create some type of cooking method maybe a little bit later on if we can get food. So I'm going to chuck this thing in the backpack. How's this right here, guys? It's like a little top hat for me. <laughs> I don't think it's going to really last too long because it's not offering any shade protection. So, all right, we're ditching this soft coral. We need a proper hat. <laughs> These right here are going to come in super handy. These absolutely take off like no other when you're starting a fire. So. I'm gonna grab a whole heap of these guys. You can see they come from this plant right here. And uh, this is gonna allow us to hopefully start some fire a little bit later on. That right there, that is a cone shell. These cone shells, guys, they actually call them cigarette snails. The reason for that is if you get spiked by the snail that's inside of this, you're dead quicker than what you can smoke a cigarette. So I'm lucky that there's no animal in this one. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is just stupidly beautiful. Shells are like nature's treasure. They're like so sick. I love them so much. I don't know how the hell this got out here. Now this tire, guys, could actually be used for multiple purposes. Number one, 
If you burnt this, it would actually turn into black smoke, which could get the attention of someone if you were stuck on this island for, I guess, a few days and you needed a way to get out of here. I've been sweating so much out there, it's ridiculous. I'm taking one moment to get my breath back. Oh, all right. I don't think we can spend much more time in the sun, guys, because it is cooking me. <sighs> we need to find some type of liquid. We need to find liquid badly. Thinking, guys, there might be a massive storm brewing. So what I'm thinking is in case it rains, I want some way to collect water. It's time to get out the big bad boy, this knife right here. Now, we're pretty lucky because both these bottles actually have lids on them. Yeah, they're super salty and dusty, but that doesn't really matter. What I want to do from here, guys, is I literally just want to find the center point on this bottle and I just want to cut straight down it. You can see right there, we've literally collected two cups right there. They are set up, they're good to go. You can actually use like fuel tanks or buckets or anything that washes up on this beach, but that right there, that is a sure bet that if it starts raining, we're gonna have some type of fresh water. All these old coconuts that are washed up, it's not really gonna help us. What's that, a shoe? Look at this, more old coconuts. Alrighty, I think I found something. Oh, please, please, please. Yes! There's liquid inside of it! We found a coconut, man! Oh, she's pretty old, as you guys can tell, but that has liquid inside of it, guys. Oh my goodness, that is a lifesaver. Yeah! We are back in camp right now. We got our knife right here. I'm popping open this coconut. Realistically, guys, I probably can't drink all of this thing because we need to save some of it. We need to go all the way until tomorrow morning. That's the nut and that's the meat right there. I'm just gonna pierce it just like that. I wanna actually try to preserve, I guess, this coconut so I don't drink it all. Oh my goodness. That is so incredibly good. Probably drank about half of that right now. Best news is, because we've only made that small incision right there, we can keep him and we'll preserve that. It's probably about one or two in the afternoon and the tide is nice and high right now, which means all that beautiful clean water and all the fish come in with it. It's gonna be a really good time to hunt, baby. Let's go find some food, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. It is so beautiful out here. Oh my goodness, take a look at this water. That is dinner, baby. Oh, that is so much meat. That is easily gonna feed us. Oh, I'm stoked with that. Hee <laughs> hee.
my goodness. That is psycho! <laughs> so bloody well are you kidding me right let me show you guys what we got look at this absolute beauty right there that is what they call a gold spot trevally you can see these gold spots right here this is one of the best sashimi over here in indonesia guys they absolutely love them so i'm so frothing out to get that bad boy that's just one of them though take a look at the colors on that parrot fish right there this thing's an absolute donkey look at it Oh my goodness, I'm so frothing on that. The reason they call them a parrot fish is because they've got these big old parrot, I guess, uh, beak on them right there and also the beautiful colors. And they are one of the most beautiful fish over the barbecue. This thing is winning MVP. I've never shot one of these before in my life. And I believe this is like a tropical flounder or sole. And apparently they are one of the best eating in the ocean. As you guys know, this is way too much fish to feed me for the next 24 hours, but that's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna find a good spot and I'm gonna keep it there and find a nice cool spot and hopefully we can keep it for, I guess all the locals tomorrow when I leave the island, I can give it to them. So, oh, I'm so frothing out. Yeah. You know, for me being able to share fish and everything like that, it means so much. And the locals, fish means more than anything else to them. So. If I can share that, then I can make their day. It is just straight good vibes all around. But we need to figure out how the hell we're gonna keep them cold. We can definitely use this. We can actually use this, guys, to hopefully pres preserve some of that fish at least till tomorrow morning. You know, it's a good problem to have when you're trying to choose which fish you wanna eat for dinner. But what I'm thinking right now is these two fish right here, I'm gonna keep them for the locals. It's a beautiful parrot fish and our trevally. And this weird ass fish right here, which you can see, we're gonna eat this bad boy because I've got a really cool way that I think that we can eat it. Things actually pretty solid, look at it. They're actually one of the weirdest fish on planet Earth. Their eyes actually start on either side of the fish and the bigger it gets, it actually moves across its head. That's one eye right there and that's another eye right there. You can see, it literally just sits and waits like that and then boom, any type of fish that comes by, it's kind of got like a bucket mouth, it would just suck them up. Alrighty, we're taking our fish down to near where the water's edge is. Hey, we're above the high tide watermark. What I'm gonna do right now is I wanna actually dig a hole. And I wanna get all the way down, guys, because I wanna get that nice cold, I guess, sand that's gonna keep our fish nice and fresh overnight. Alrighty, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this, I guess, plastic right here, and I'm just gonna line this hole. You can see right there. I'm just gonna line the sides of it. And that is gonna, I guess, protect it and keep it sealed. I'm gonna grab our fish right here, which is nice and sandy already. This one on top. Now, from here, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bury it. What I'm gonna go do now is grab something up on the beach that's super strange, that uh, essentially we can mark right here so that we know where the fish is. All right, that will be perfect. I've always wanted to eat one of these. It's like really weird. You can see that side, has meat on it, and also that side has meat on it. It's a flat fish. Woo -hoo -hoo! I feel so alive, so free. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, I've just spotted the wildest thing up the beach. Oh my goodness, there's something huge coming towards me. Oh my goodness, look at him right here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. That is crazy! You know, juvenile manta rays! <laughs> that is psycho! 
I've never seen that before in my life. Alrighty, I'm gonna leave him right there. What we gotta do is we gotta head up to all the, I guess these green trees and everything like that. This is a nice green piece of wood right here. Snap off a few pieces of this, cause this is not gonna burn. Let's grab him, you can see that beautiful Y shape. There's one. Alrighty, you guys can see we've got these green pieces of wood right here. What I wanna do is I actually just wanna trim them up. And I just want to create, I guess, just like a way that we can put this over the fire. That's going to work right there. You can see we'll be able to lay, I guess, piece of wood across that. All right, that right there we can use. We're going to put that over our fire and that is not going to burn because it's nice green wood. Just make sure those are super compact and that they're not falling over. And that is going to be perfect. I'll grab some pieces of wood right now. Got to make sure they're pretty solid. These will be good. You guys can slowly see we're essentially building, I guess, a fish rack. That's probably all we need right there, guys. We got one more here, and we got one more here. We're gonna have a fire underneath here cooking away, and then our fish will be sitting straight on top. Alrighty, we have our fish rack sorted out there. What I wanna do right now is figure out where the hell we're gonna to sleep tonight. This weather's looking pretty good right now, so I'm thinking straight on the beach could be a good option, but I got a little bit of an idea of how I can make it a little bit more comfortable. It starts with this bad boy. <sighs> Alrighty, now we need to go walk the beach. I need to find some type of, I guess, piece of wood. A specific type. This is all turtle tracks right here, so there must be turtles that are laying eggs up on this beach here. Yeah, you can actually tell where they've dug their nest. They dig up these big holes and you can actually see them. So we'll just make sure we don't stand on any. Thinking that right there. Yeah. All right. That's going to be our best option right there. Alrighty, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way we can make a bed slash chair, I guess, for a little bit later on. All right, this is the piece of wood that we collected a little bit earlier. I'm just gonna wrap it up in my wetsuit and that's gonna stop all the splinters going straight into my spine. You just put it straight down like that. Dig it into the ground like that. That right there, that is our bed and our chair. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Alrighty, take a look at our campsite. We've got our fish right here. We've got our fish grill right there. That's our kindling that we collected a little bit earlier. We got our bed right there. I want to go collect some firewood. I want to get this fire going. As you guys can tell, that sun is getting lower. It's probably like four in the afternoon right now. So let's collect some firewood, eh? Let's get this thing cooking. It is dinner time, baby. Got this kindling right here, which is absolutely perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these pieces of wood just to one side, just so that I can get this fire started. And then once we get it going, we'll lay these out perfect. It's our kindling. Then we got our small twigs right there. And then we got some larger ones that we'll put on afterwards. So. Let's get this thing fired up, eh? Let's go. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Woo! Look at it take off, man. Struggling a little bit here, but I'm just gonna put this on. Watch this. Look at that. Watch this go. You ready? It's just gonna take off, baby. Oh, all this stuff is just super light and dry. <laughs> See, these pieces are pretty solid right here, so they should be good. We'll grab our fish and, uh, We'll put it straight on. Woo! Underneath there, that flame is just gonna slowly cook away that fish. As long as we just keep this fueled, should be perfect. A big old plate right there. <laughs> that is going so sick with that fire. And look at this. This is what we live for, man. We're the only ones out here on this deserted island right now. And let me tell you, we are thriving, yes! Buddy, our ruck has kind of failed, but look, let's take a look at how she's doing. Oh yeah, man. That looks so good. All that skin is just protecting that meat underneath, you can see. All right, this, this is what we're gonna serve it on. I think she's just about done. Don't drop it. Perfect. Moment has come, baby. Take a look at it. Look at this, I'm just peeling this skin off. And this thing is literally just like a plate of meat. It is insane. Look at this meat underneath. Are you kidding me right now? Most beautiful meat that you can get. Look at that. All right, let's give her a shot. It's got like a super tender white meat. They obviously don't move very much because they're like a flat fish. So there's no way I would have been able to finish those other two fish. So I'm just happy to have this right now. This is gonna keep me fueled 100% till tomorrow morning. I think this is actually one of the best fish I've ever eaten in my life. You know what the best part about these fish is? We literally just grab it once we finish one side and we just flip it over and we got a fresh brand new side to hook into right there. 
It's <laughs> so good. Alrighty guys, we've smashed this down right now. There's literally nothing left. Oh, that was such a good meal. I feel so full right now. We got our second win, baby. What I want to do is I want to get myself sorted for the night ahead. We've probably only got about an hour left of light until it starts to go into night time. So let's get prepped, eh? Yee -hee -hee. How's the afternoon on it right now? Oh, it is so beautiful out here. Oh, this is all to ourselves. All right, let's get it ready for the night ahead. We'll grab, I guess, our bed slash chair, whatever you want to call it. We'll take it back up to our camp and uh, we'll chill out, eh? Watch this sunset. Hey, you guys can see we do not have much light left. I'm just going to chill out right here. I got this log, cruise for a little bit, and then we'll get ready for the night ahead. I actually don't think it's going to be too bad of a night. We've got that bed right there. The weather looks absolutely insane. I thought it was going to storm today, but she's cleared up for us. I got a good meal in me right now. I feel energized from that coconut. Life's good right now, baby. <laughs> How good is this right now, guys? I'm pretty much just watching the sunset and I'm just having one of those moments right now where I kind of just get in my thoughts and I just think about life and everything like that. And I guess one thing that just keeps going through my head is just how much my life has changed this year. Like you guys have been there through the ups and downs, the lows and everything. And if there's one thing I got to say, it's just thank you guys so much. You've been my family this year and you've been my rock. You've been the only thing that's keeping me going. And uh, yeah, never in my wildest dreams would I think I'd be here at the beginning of the year. That's for sure. But I love you guys. And this is what we do. This is our life right now. Oh my goodness. So blessed, man. All right, look, we got no rain. I don't think there's going to be any rain. So let's collect these bottles right here that we set up a little bit earlier on because we do not want this plastic floating through the ocean. All right, you guys can see that sun is setting over the horizon. We do not have much time left until it's night time. I'm going to see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. I cannot wait to see the reaction of the locals when we give them that fish. It is going to be so good. But uh, yeah, this is me, guys. I'm going to enjoy the vibes. I'll see you guys bright and early. Woohoo! It's probably like two or three in the morning right now, guys, and that wind has picked up. I put on my wetsuit. That's at least going to keep me somewhat warm until the morning, but should only have a few more hours. I'll see you guys soon. Oh my goodness. Good morning to you guys. Oh, that was one pretty rough sleep, I'm not going to lie. Ended up chucking on my wetsuit, but I think the thing's back to front. I just got cold throughout the night, and let me tell you guys, these things right here, don't know if you can see them, these hermit crabs right here, they were crawling over me all through the night. I thought they were like spiders or something like that. And then I worked out they were hermit crabs, but I'm just happy to see morning right now. And you can see the boat is on the horizon. We got the boat out here. Here's the boys. <laughs> Alrighty, we got to dig up this fish right here. They're going to be wondering what the hell I'm doing. Alrighty, we got to quickly dig up this fish right now, guys. Oh, I think she's good. All right, we got one sandy parrot fish right there. All righty, they are good, baby. We got our two fish. They haven't been eaten by anything, which is good. I got you boys a little bit of a surprise right here. We got some fish. All righty, you take this one. Okay. Take the camera. <laughs> All right. I've been picked up. I'm leaving the deserted island. Thank you guys so much. This has been one wild challenge. I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Shoo!